Hello chaps, in this video I'm gonna show you how I'm washing the interior of my M5. Why am I doing only the interior? Well, because it's related to my washing habits. What I usually do is I wash the exterior on one day and wash the interior on the other day. So in other words, I give some rest. You know, I take some rest between these two procedures. If you ask me why, well, that's because I'm doing a very thorough detailing and washing of the exterior, all right, which is probably taking me two, you know, to two and a half hours. Old. And I do the interior for about the same time, maybe less. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, uh, devote my time to washing only the interior, okay, which means that I will wipe clean the dashboard, the seats, I'll, you know, vacuum clean the floor, the carpet. I'll also um, uh, wipe, uh, wipe off the dust from the windows, from the glass, and maybe give it some, you know, give some shine and some treatment to the leather seats. All right, that's the plan for today. Um, all right, let's let's get it on. All right now, so I took out the floor carpets from the front passenger seat. I'm gonna do exactly the same for the rear passenger. Okay, so first uh, first thing I'm gonna do is probably vacuum clean the carpet, you know, and then wipe off any dust from the seats. All right, so let's just take off the carpet. Okay, you see it's a bit filthy there. All right, so you just do it that way after you re remove the clips. Okay, so... Oh, and by the way, this is by no means an instruction video on how to do the the interior washing and interior cleaning so don't get me wrong i'm just you know sharing my own experience how i do it and uh, maybe you can learn something from this video or if you have any interesting feedback please leave any comments so i can learn something from you okay regarding the washing of the interior okay, so after i removed the carpets what i do next is i air vacuum the, the carpet all right so let me just put the light on the dirt that I have accumulated throughout the last winter. Oh, and if you ask me why, why did I mention a whole winter? Because obviously I don't drive my car in the winter because of the, you know, some very uh, snowy and icy roads. Another interesting thing to note is that I don't usually trust the car washes because, you know, the way that they, you know, clean the interior or even the exterior usually, you know, is not the best. Okay, so I, I trust myself, I don't trust these people. And that's why I do all the maintenance myself, and, you know, with all the love and care. Okay, I'd like to say a few words about uh, vacuum cleaner. Long time ago, I had a Black & Decker, you know, a portable 12 volt, automobile vacuum cleaner. It wasn't the best in the world, yes, it was decent quality, but its sucking power, okay, the power of its uh, engine, it was really poor. So it wasn't really up for for sucking in all the, you know, pieces of stone and very heavy garbage. But then I decided to, you know, to sell it and then instead use just a normal, you know, home vacuum cleaner. As you can see here, it's a, what is this? This is a Lucy. Well, that can clean and you know it, it sucks like a hell if you if you watch this video now i'm gonna show you what it does okay let me just hold this camera straight switch on the vacuum cleaner here is something i'd like to boast with looking at the floor mats you see here the date so uh it's his original uh, floor mat that came with the car and the it looks like it was made in June of 2001 and my car was built in September of 2001 right now uh, next step is uh, I take a piece of cloth it's a my microfiber towel I you know I wet it and then I start you know wiping clean taking any dust off the dash Now you guys may be wondering, why am I not taking my car outside where there is enough light, sunlight in order to do the interior cleaning? Well, um, the, 
the reason why I don't take it out is because I don't want to start the engine you know just you know for the sake of taking the car outside to wash it and then go back inside put it inside so instead I'm doing it inside inside my garage yes it's a bit dark yes you can't notice everything but to notice everything you have this thing all right this light will help me to spot any dust any particles any you know garbage that I would otherwise not be able to spot if I was to do the washing outside outside the garage another thing another very interesting observation is I don't know if you personally noticed this but no or not but uh, sometimes when you wash the interior you know the carpet you know and all these you know little pieces you know underneath the seats and stuff when you're doing this outside you it may look like you've done all the cleaning and it's all clean and shiny and blah 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 but when you're taking into the garage where there is you know not enough light and when you are using this light in order to light up all these you know little holes inside the car you know you'll see some dust there you'll see some particles left there some stones and chips in there so that's what I'm that's what that's one advantage of using you know this external lamp because you will be able to see everything like from the microscope you will be doing a very thorough clean if you are doing it with the help of, of the light of course some might say well some might say that you can still use the light if you are doing this outside yes to that I have no other objections but to agree with you well it's it's all just my call it's my choice that's why I'm doing it uh, inside my garage Okay, so I finished the first stage of cleaning the interior. I uh, vacuum cleaned, I cleaned uh, the seats, you know, I wiped off the dust. Now after making a break with some beer, I'm gonna chase in the second stage, which is uh, treating the leather, leather seats, and then probably wiping the dash with some, with some uh, dash treatment. Okay. So some of you may be wondering what I use to treat uh, my leather seats. I use this BMW product, which I bought probably, you know, five years ago, and it's been working really good. I mean, it's, you get, the, you know, the, the smell and the feel of the original BMW leather. It doesn't spoil it with some artificial smells of lemon or lime or citruses or whatever. So as you can see here, it writes leather lotion with UV protection. It comes in this box with this sponge and the paper towels, you know, to wipe off the wax residue. Okay, my piece of advice is to apply a bit more uh, lotion to the driver's seat, just because, you know, you use it more often than any other other seats. So let it soak, and then apply the second layer to make sure that, you know, it has a very good feed to the leather. Oh, and don't forget to clean these grills from the dust and all the other things. Okay, so you use a, a normal brush and then you just wipe it up with, with a microfiber towel, okay? It's good as new. I did the same thing on the central grills. All right, and that one over there. Finally, uh, one thing I, I usually do is clean the, the windshield. For that purpose, I have this BMW's glass cleaner with uh, with a demister. I'm gonna spray it over the, the micro towel and then wipe it off clean. I guess that all of you are familiar with the golden rule of cleaning the windshields. First you do it in the horizontal strikes and then you do it in the vertical strikes. And you will be able to see which parts are not cleaned as, you know, as the traces of the streaks appear in now the Before end. you wrap up your cleaning process, I think it's, it's a good thing to do is to clean the carpet the floor mats of all the dirt you know the dust and stuff like that i'm doing the rear one okay, and then i'm, I'm gonna do the, the front ones as well the final touch i put all the floor mats 
Uh, there is some residue, you know, the seats look a bit uh, mattish. So I'm gonna wipe it, you know, polish it with the, with the paper towel which comes with the leather cleaner, uh, leather conditioner, and give it a little bit of shine. Like this. this. Alright guys, so I think I finished cleaning the interior. It took me about two hours a day. Uh, I was, I, I didn't, what I didn't do is I didn't uh, treat the dash, nor did I treat the plastic, you know, so it's just, just cleaning off the dust, uh, wiping off the dust from the leather seats, treating the leather, and that was, that was basically it. Right now, let's look at the final result. Okay, here is how it looks without any external lighting. Now you can see the finished product, the finished look. Okay, I think it was a very good job. You know, this is this is the front. Now let's look at the back. Okay, I think we get more or less the same result here in the back. All shining, all good. So uh, this is basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, for more videos like this, just like this video and subscribe. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Take care and bye.